Patrick Queen has quickly become one of my favorite Ravens, and I mean top five easily. I set about this evening to go back and watch pre-Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen. Patrick is our will linebacker. The Browns are in 12 personnel. They're going to run counter to his side. It's evident to me in watching this that Patrick has come a long way and has greatly improved in reading his keys, understanding blocking schemes up front, understanding that the right tackle and guard are blocking back. So is the center. He's got a left guard pulling. He picks up on this tight end behind him, reads counter, very patient in his shuffle, gives up that gap when he sees where the play is designed to hit. And this is something we didn't see Patrick do in the past comes downhill, takes on the block at the line of scrimmage, hits the blocker, play side shoulder. Patrick has always been electric when he triggers downhill. It's just that he's more consistent, more experienced, more confident in his reads. Cleveland's in 12 personnel. Patrick is reading the backfield understands this is outside zone, understands the blocks in front of him, understands that the right guard's job in coming off this double team is to come and get him and cut off the backside linebacker, and he triggers. The other thing, and this might be the second thing I look for in a linebacker after just hit and shed, is are they willing to throw their body around? Do they play with reckless abandon? Understanding that this is just a game, one look from 2022, there's no doubt to me that he is blossoming as a player, and we're seeing a burgeoning star linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. Watch him take on the bigger man, this right tackle at the line of scrimmage and knock him back a yard and a half, drop his weight, fire his hips, get his hands inside, and just pop him. Watch it again. Sometimes when we see him trigger downhill, shoot gaps, it's a call. Sometimes it's his reads. Right here, he's reading this formation, reading the backfield, sees the toss to the back, and he gets into the backfield. He shoots gaps as well as anybody uh, in the NFL, and he is a violent linebacker. This play, to my mind and to my eye, is a designed run blitz called for Patrick. It's notable that Patrick is the guy they expect to make this play. He is an over-the-top athlete, very explosive, and he has something that's difficult to define or describe, the idea of playing with great desire. Cleveland with a tackle overset. There's clearly something they've seen on film. Watch him gear up here, and he's off to the races before this ball snap. You can see this right guard. He's coming over to get this gap. As much as he's coming over to get 92, Matabike, he's coming to get Patrick and fill that gap. Patrick just slivers through that. The back has the football in his belly for about two strides, and then he buries him. They know they're going to try to get the ball outside, pull the center, Matabike, if you watch closely, is trying to hold up this right guard and allow Patrick to sliver through. And again, that's rare. What we just saw him do, that slivering through, that desire to make a play in the backfield. Watch it again. He disguises these blitzes very well. Times up the snap great. Right there's that plant step just before the ball's snapped. And he's firing through, gets his way around the back. That offensive line opened up like the Red Sea <laughs> for those linebackers to come through. Again, he's electric. Now watch him start celebrating a little bit early here. And then decides he'll finish. And he plays with such energy, such passion. Watch it again. Again, we are watching Patrick pre-Roquan Smith. You can see that even before Roquan came on board, that his processing has sped up. The game has slowed down. Even in his pass drops, he's much more at ease, much more comfortable picking up number two and walling him. 
making sure he closes down that hook window with eyes to the quarterback. And then as the ball goes to the running back, watch him just race to get to the football. Patrick's our apex defender. He's going to wall read number two, carries him 10 yards, gets under anything in breaking, eyes to the quarterback. I mentioned Patrick's one of my top five players. He's probably number two uh, right after Marlon. Really hoping the Ravens find a way to keep him. Watch, watch him be violent again here at the line of scrimmage. This is not something we saw a lot of from him early in his career. Not perfect in his take on here by any means, but he at least gets points for being violent, rocking the tackle, and meeting him at the line of scrimmage. You don't want to see him with his shoulders to the sideline on his take on. He really can't pursue both ways. But he does reroute the back, close down that gap, and he's absolutely disruptive at the line of scrimmage. 